Hi, everyone, and welcome to Community Journal. Thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And uh, Welcome to 2019. Happy New Year, everyone. That's right, our first show of the new year, mm -hmm. and uh, we're so glad that you've joined us. We hope you had a wonderful holiday season, and here we are in almost the middle of January. I can't believe it. I know. Time just keeps on marching, Jack. It, it does, <laughs> and it really, really begins to feel like winter now, although we have been very lucky so far at our location, no measurable snow, which is Yay. really great, and I hope it continues <laughs> that way. I know. <laughs> we've been, we've like been we lucky. We might get socked in March like last Shh. year. <laughs> well, I'm just being a realist. Uh, don't say that. <laughs> but anyway, we've got um, several announcements today, so mm -hmm. we're probably going to start with a couple of them. So, Eileen, why don't you start with at least one anyway? All right, very good. Well, the Howard Conservation Trust is going to be conducting some January winter talks. And the next one coming up is this coming Saturday, January 12th at 2 p.m. And it will be on the Bald Eagle Biology and Behavior. The presentation will be by Jason E. Zimmer, District Supervisor, Southeast Wildlife District of the Massachusetts Division of Fisheries and Wildlife. Bald eagles have recently been observed in Harwich, Brewster, and other areas on Cape Cod. Learn about bald eagle natural history, the story of their decline, this raptor's listing with the Federal Endangered Species Act, and subsequent recovery, as well as monitoring efforts both across the country and in Massachusetts. Jason will also highlight conservation efforts in the Southeast District and talk about current and potential nesting locations. The suggested do donation is $5 per person, and I don't know if you have to register online or not. Um, well, we can find that out. Yeah, we can find that out and get back to you on that. Okay, very good. And, um, you know, uh, there's always, it's New Year and time to fill your crisp blank calendar with fun winter activities and excursions on the Friends bus. Well, you know, even though it is the New Year and filling calendars, around here it's easy to fill your calendar. You just have to uh, do a little homework and... Um, a piece of that homework could be to look into a trip that's going to take place on Friday, January 25th at 10 a.m. from the Community Center. Do you know about the Cultural Center of Cape Cod in Yarmouth? Ever been there? Well, join friends for an art exhibit and to explore the center. The building used to be, it used to be a bank, and I remember we went there a couple yes, of times, we did. and it's we quite have, amazing. Yeah. I think they still have the, um, the vault, the vault mm -hmm, is still they there, do, yeah. and a peek into the vault sounds interesting. It sure does, there you go. Uh, and then you go to get, uh, you get to go to lunch at the Route 28 Diner, so that's taking place on January 25th, um, so that's one you can uh, do, and it's no cost to that. And uh, if, uh, uh, but there is limited seating, so you need to reserve early by calling 508 430, excuse me, 432 5050. That's 508 432 5050. And let us know if you need transportation to the community center. So wow. that's, that's, a, that's good, a good deal. Yeah, it is a good deal. Yeah. yeah. You got something else there, uh, Eileen? I do. The Knights of Columbus Council 7312 are sponsoring a free throw championship for boys and girls ages 9 to 14. Um, for entry form and registration information, you need to contact Mark Robinson. His phone number is 508-258-0692. The date of the competition is January 26th. The time is noon to 2 p.m. and it's going to be held right here at the Harwich Community Center on Oak Street. So um, you can only compete in one local competition, so keep that in mind. Uh, so once again, free throw championship, sponsored by the Knights of Columbus, Council 7312, right here at the Harwich Community Center on January 26th from 12 noon to 2 p.m. Boys and girls 9 to 14. Wow. That yes. Sounds very good. Yes. Well, this time of year, you start gathering all of your figures and uh, thinking about tax preparation. I can't believe it's that time again, but uh, it is. And the AARP Foundation Tax Aid is sponsoring a free in-person tax preparation right here at the Community Center. But you do have to call for an appointment. Call 508-430-7550. 
That's 508-430-7550, and that's free in-person tax preparation. Uh, so I guess it's sponsored by the AARP, and, uh, you know, that's great. That's a Yes, because there's a lot of changes, I think, in the tax um, yeah, I think there yeah, are. The, uh, yeah. What do they call it? The standard deduction mm -hmm. has changed. Mm -hmm. and uh, So there might be some uh, different things coming up on that. Yes. So free health. That's always good. That's right. <laughs> well, we'd like to go to uh, one of our uh, spots right now, and uh, we're going to bring you up to date as to what's going on with the Chamber of Commerce. So let's take a look at the Chamber update. here with Cindy Williams of the Harwich Chamber of Commerce. Good morning, Diana. Good morning. And uh, I know you've had many wonderful events in the last few months, some of which I have attended. Great. And uh, I think we're going to get a peek at the year ahead. We Is are. Right? So uh, like you said, we had a great 2018, <laughs> and we're now looking forward to 2019. We've mm -hmm. formed our committees for our annual events. Um, our members really get engaged and involved in what we do, so uh, the committees are underway for the big events. Uh, Toast of Harwich is April 26th mm. um, at the Waquasset Resort and Golf Club. That's a Friday night, and look forward to that every year. Everyone gets dressed up. We um, our theme this year is Sip, Sample, and Sparkle. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so try saying that a couple times. But we're really excited. It's an event that kicks off the season. You know, the restaurants are there. Um, our businesses uh, take part in the silent auction. Mm -hmm. We'll once again do that um, online so that people can uh, get a jump start on that. But it's, it was fun. It was fun to watch everyone on their phones or on iPads and <coughs> bidding on everything. So mm -hmm. we'll do that once again. Then it makes um, it more interactive, doesn't it? It does, and yeah, you just yeah. you know, then you don't have to stand in one area. You know, we'll uh -huh. once again um, have the band, the Rip It Ups, so they'll oh, be dancing yes. again. Mm -hmm. um, so it's just going to be a lively, fun night. So uh, kicking off the season, uh, April twenty sixth there, Great. and then um, you know we've all come off of the holidays, so we're kind of getting into our healthy kick now. Um, the <laughs> <laughs> we're trying. Um, the tenth annual five uh, k road race is uh, oh, yeah. June twenty second. So it's not too early to start training. Start, start preparing for that. Get ready because yep. we're excited. We're gonna add a couple of new exciting things to this with the after party and just mm -hmm. a lot of um, mm -hmm. things to celebrate the tenth annual. Then, um, believe it or not, I am going to touch on the summer because all of our bands for July and August for Port Summer Nights are booked. My goodness. We're very you excited. You are well ahead of the game here. Oh, we are. That's excellent. <laughs> so we're really, you know, we wanted to get everything all set up um, for the year, mm -hmm. um, for the big events, so then we can then um, help the businesses and the residents with different things that they may need mm. throughout the year. Mm -hmm. We're a year-round chamber. We're open other than a couple of major holidays, we're there all the time um, for everyone, you know, for the businesses, the residents, um, the community. So if, you know, you are ever looking for some of the information that, you know, gets sent out at the different meetings um, that town um, hall does, you know, whether it's planning board, wastewater, board of selectmen, the chamber has a lot of that information there. Mm. So if you wanted to pop in and you, you know, you needed to know what was going on with the wastewater project, we have those packets there. So I want to let everyone yeah. know that too, so that they don't, you know, just think of us as, you know, where you can get your beach sticker, which you can yeah. get your beach sticker here <laughs> once again this year. Um, but you can get so much um, yes. information. You're really information central. We are. For Harwich. It we, is, we are. It's a great great amenity for so, us. Yeah. So yeah. we're excited about that. The other big thing <coughs> that we're working on um, in conjunction with the town, the local Harwich Cultural Council and the Mass Cultural Council is our two designations for um, two cultural districts that we are doing. We signed a um, cultural compact back in February last year mm -hmm. with the state and those partners and uh, simultaneously we are going um, forward with uh, two districts um, for Harwich Center and Harwich Port. So we're excited about that too. So mm -hmm. yes, we've planned the big events, but we have a lot of work <laughs> coming up for all of Harwich. You know, there are seven mm -hmm. villages and it's it's almost like having seven children, you know. Ah. You want to make sure everyone gets this, you know, the same attention, the same focus, the same love because we each one has such wonderful assets um, and we have a wonderful town. Mm -hmm. So uh, mm -hmm. we're looking forward to it. Well, your enthusiasm is infectious. Oh, thank it's you. It's great. 
Thank you. So well, going I love back I or rather forward to the Port Summer Nights, yes. are you, uh, what is the schedule? Are you planning to do it each so, week again? So, yes, it is every Wednesday. <coughs> we kick it off July 3rd, mm -hmm. and it goes through July and August. But this year, like we did last year, um, you know, we all felt it was, you know, we had so many um, wonderful weeks, but we wanted to do something for the residents, too, that sometimes, you know, as residents, we feel like we want to just kind of stay home, and mm -hmm. we're going to do another one um, in September. Last year, we did the first Wednesday, and mm -hmm. because Wednesdays are Port Summer Nights, but we're going to do the first Friday, so it's September 6th, I believe, mm -hmm. and that's going to be our encore to the summer, where oh, we kind of... Hope nice, the residents yeah. will come out, enjoy. The kids are already back to school, but it's the Friday night. It's not the Wednesday night. So we won't, be take, we won't be taking yeah. the children away from studying, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll be bringing everybody out so right. they can enjoy um, mm -hmm. that encore to summer for that um, night. So we're, we are doing it every Wednesday once again. Yes. Well, it's hard to say goodbye to summer, but... It is, uh, but, you know, and the whole be premise... A nice, nice thing to do. Yeah. The whole premise on every Wednesday is because visitors and even residents that come down to their homes, they look forward to it. So they mm -hmm. want to make sure they're coming the week, at, the week that it's happening. So we've yeah. gone forward with it every well, Wednesday and we will stick with that. Yeah, terrific. So. Okay, so most immediately we have the April 24th. The April 26th at 26th, the um, Waquasset, the Toast of Harwich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and certainly if anyone would like to be a part of any of these committees, please reach out to me at the chamber. Um, and we would love to have, mm -hmm. you know, volunteers for the committees, but also you can volunteer at the chamber. We have mm -hmm. uh, volunteers May to October to Columbus mm -hmm. Day when um, we're fully um, staffed. Mm -hmm. But certainly um, it's a fun way to share, you know, each one of us has favorite spots for yes. dinner, shopping, beaches. Right. You know, so it's yes, if you want to be engaged in and be a part of the chamber, um, mm -hmm. okay. please let us know. So I understand there's a new... A new thing in town. Yes. A new guy coming to town. So we're super excited about this. This is a um, general store. It's called Murphy's General Store. This will open in the spring of this year, and they're a wonderful couple. Mm. Um, where, will, where will they be located? So this will go into what many will know as or knew as the Monaghan Fine Jewelers. Oh, so it's going to be a central a focal point spot, yes. and it's they've done some wonderful work inside. I've gotten a couple of sneak peeks, so uh, this is going to be super exciting. A general store, yeah, yeah, right in that location. I know. Well, ideal. It's a great building Look for it. Forward to it. The yeah. character and everything. Yes, so it's it's true. It's true. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, that'll um, be fun so to yeah. welcome somebody new. It is, you know, yeah. and we're, you know, we're gearing up for all of that, too, with the businesses. We're doing mm -hmm. some um, work with the planning board, the selectmen, um, the police and fire to just get the businesses, but get everyone used to what and what the, how we're going to do business and have everyone be mm -hmm. successful, too. So mm -hmm. everyone um, working together. Everyone working together because yeah. we, we all yeah. want the same thing to sure. have Harwich continue to grow and thrive like it is. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. But this is going to be a great, great new asset to uh, Harwich Port. Excellent. And that's in the spring? In the spring of this year, correct. Uh -huh. Excellent. Okay. Great. So do you have anything else on your mind? No, I think that'll I think be that it for today. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot on your mind, as yeah. always, and a lot on your plate. Oh. So we'll look forward to all of it. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming in. Thanks, Dinah. Cindy, thanks. And we thank Cindy and Dinah for bringing us up to date at the chamber. There's always something going on. Always. Yep. Even so, uh, in the dead of winter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And speaking of the dead of winter. There you go. I just found out that the Harwich Conservation Trust talk on Saturday about the bald eagle biology and behavior is happening right here at the community center and no registration is required. So that is this Saturday, January 12th at 2 p.m., Bald Eagle Biology and Behavior, presented by Jason E. Zimmer. Very and good. there's also a youth archery program happening in March and April. Just to give you, I know March is a little bit away, about a month away yet, but just something for you to think about. Saturdays from 11 to 12 um, p.m., uh, March 9th, 16th, 23rd, and then April 2nd and 16th. So that's five Saturdays for an hour. $60 is the cost, and it's going to be happening here at the Community Center Gym. However, the sign-up is ASAP, 
as there is limited space. So I assume it's the recreation department that you would be signing up for the youth archery program. Wow, that's, that's a nice opportunity. Can't believe we're talking about March and April. No, I can't either. Oh my that's, that's amazing. I know. Well, here's one that you can talk about February oh, for. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Mark your calendar because this, this is really a can't miss if you can make this. This is called the Midwinter Blast, and it's happening Friday, February 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. Uh, right here at the community center. This is a free dance featuring the live big band music of the sound dunes. We have heard them many times. Yes. And it is well worth coming. Yeah, they are a wonderful the, band. What a really wonderful are. band. You know, you don't hear multiple instruments in one place very often. No. And uh, they have a brass section. I mean, it just sounds great. And, and they play danceable music, too. And they play danceable music. Uh, there, are, there will be complimentary desserts and refreshments, but reservations are required. You can call 508-430-7550. That's 508-430-7550. This is being hosted by the Harwich Council on Aging. And again, again it's Friday, February 15th from 6 to 8 p.m. And it's free. And it's free. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Eileen. Very good. Folks, that is our show for this week, but we want you to stay tuned. We have a special presentation following.